Peace and blessings, y'all. In this corner, Fox from 24. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good on this side as always. God is great. God is good, and I definitely can't complain. So, I know y'all still hating, man, out there. Some of y'all, y'all still ain't gonna get a man credit. But Jerome Bruce Ennis is now 31-0, 28 knockouts. Put Roman, Roy Mine Villa on the canvas for the first time in his career. He's now 26 and 2 with 24 knockouts. Um, very good fight. Boots is who he is. Whether you like him or not, he's here to stay. And he's one of the most avoided, if not the most avoided fighter that's boxing right now. So, what did Boots do tonight, man? What did he do to Roy Manvilla? Well, let me just give credit to Roy Manvilla because he's a very tough dude, as you can see. As you can see, he can take a shot, and he keeps coming. Very tough dude, and he got power. You can tell he got power, man. When he throw them shots, he got a lot of power because he caught Boots flush with a few shots. He really did. Some of the shots he threw, he rolled with the punches. And when you roll them with punches, they don't have the same effect. But there were some flush shots that he caught him with. So for y'all that said Boots don't got no chin, he, he can't take a shot. When you got somebody throwing a shot at you, they got 24 knockouts in 27 fights. Come on, man. What are we, what are we saying here? Dude is strong, bro. Dude punches you or hurts you. He put Rashidi Ellis on the canvas twice, okay? So we know he can pop. Jerron Boutinus is a different fighter. So we can't take nothing away from him, bro. He got the total, total package. Uppercut, hook, body, power jab. And his father told him, he said, no matter what stance you're in, throw the right hand straight down the middle. You know what I'm saying? Throw the right hand because he can do that. His father said that he can punch on the move. You know what I mean? That, you know, man, listen. He got the total, total, total package, man. Everything, man. There's, there's no denying him, man. Okay? So it was a great fight, man. He broke Roy Man Villa down. And that's what he should have did. That's what I wanted him to do because you don't got to knock everybody out in the first, second round. Get them rounds in, man. Break these dudes down. And if you look at him, man, he wasn't tired at all. He wasn't breathing. He wasn't. You could see after the third, fourth round that Villa didn't have that same energy. Yeah, he kept coming forward, but you could just see he was like wearing down because he wasn't coming out like he with Rashid Yellis just coming right here. Yeah. He was slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Why? Because them body shots. He was sitting with them liver shots, them stomach shots in the middle. And that shit takes a lot out of you, man. Pardon me. Takes a lot out of you. I don't want to curse on my channel. But, yeah, that takes a lot out of you, man. And um, he was breaking them down. And I felt like if he didn't stop him, the corner was going to stop it anyway. But what I noticed that Roy Man Villa was doing, after the fifth round, sixth round, he was holding a lot because he was hurt. He was getting hurt. He rocked him. And he said, you know what? I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. And I was like, damn, Boots, come on, man. Push this dude off and let him hold you, man. You got to get him out of there. You got to get him out of there. Because, you know, I get hyped like that. I'm like, yo, man, get him out of there, bro. Because, you know, he's talking what he going to do, what he going to do. He, you know, what he did, man, listen. What he did to Rashid Ellis now. This is different. So he was holding on for dear life, man. And, you know, Boots, he had his moments. And then he got back to, you know what I'm saying? He got back to business, man. Like, he kind of, I'm not saying he took a round off because he didn't take a round off. But he threw less punches in the last couple of rounds. A little bit less. But then he got back to it. He got back to it. And all it took was a, a, a left that started that downfall. And then that right, that last left that he threw, didn't even touch him. But that first left is what really had him rocking to the side. And, bro, he would have been through the rope. He, was, but he, he, threw, he went through the rope, basically. And the ref pulled him back in. So... One man Villa, you got to give him credit, man. He could take a shot. He's a tough, tough dude. 
strong, powerful dude, big dude. You know what I mean? He give anybody a problem. He, anybody that gets in a ring with him is going to have a problem because you're going to have to get him out of there. You're going to have to really hurt him to make him respect you because he's going to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And in the beginning, you saw him, he kept shaking his head like, nah, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't doing nothing. Boost, you know what I'm saying? Stay composed. Okay. You don't see, you don't get caught up in that with the word. Oh, yeah, 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 I ain't hurting you. Yeah. Nah, you just keep doing your thing, perfecting your craft, doing what you're doing. And he said it himself. I could have done a little bit better. I could have listened to my father more in my corner. I stayed in front of him too much. I got hit with some shots that I really didn't have to. That's absolutely true. But he knows that. You don't need nobody to criticize him for that because he knows that. Let him say that. You know what I'm saying? Then we could say, well, okay, that's what happened. However, let's look at the good that he did. Let's look at how he boxed, he moved, the footwork, the defense. The defense was still great. No defensive fighter. A defensive fighter doesn't mean that because you're defensive, you're not going to get touched with nothing. Every fighter that's defensive is going to get touched with something. If the great Floyd Mayweather could get touched, anybody could get touched. Okay, if Pernell Whitaker could get touched, anybody could get touched. So you're going to get touched. You're just not going to get touched as much. You're not going to get touched as hard because you're rolling with shots. And when you do get touched, if you got a shin, you're going to take it. So Boots, he got a shin. But we know all y'all, y'all gonna still gonna hate all oh, Roman Villa and all that. He ain't this, he ain't that. Listen, he's waiting for the next one. Keith Thurman, what you gonna do? Ugas, what's up? Stanley Onis, you ain't got no dance partner. Virgil Ortiz has a medical issue now. That fight is off. So what's good, man? One of y'all three gotta step up to the plate. Because Boots wants to fight before the year's out. And he deserves it. He's working his way to the top. Bud Crawford and Spence, y'all fighting on the 29th. Y'all got a rematch clause. So that means that everybody got to wait. Nah, let's stay busy in that welterweight division. Let's get these fights going. Virgil Ortiz might have to move up to 154. Keep Thurman, you and you guys talking about fighting. What y'all going to do, man? Make it happen. If not, Booch is right there trying to fight before this year's out. This is July. Let's make it happen. All right? So, peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner box in 24. Congratulations to my man Boots on a great win. Excellent performance. You rate and grade yourself. I don't, I'm not going to do that. I thought it was an excellent performance, even though you got hit a few times. Very good performance. Okay? Much love and respect for you and your father and your team. Philly, stand up. Produce some of the greatest fighters in the world of boxing. We just can't deny that. And I'm from New York, but Philly is that fight time. All right? New York is always going to be a fight town. But Philly produced some of the greats, a lot of the greats. And Javon Boots Enos is on that list. And he's going to be undisputed at 147 or 154 sooner or later. All right? So that's all I really got. Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner box in 24. Please subscribe to the page. Please leave your comments. Everybody let me know how you feel. Enjoy the rest of your morning, evening. Be safe. Peace.